you need the Apple Watch Ultra for three reasons. Because that 49 millimeter big boy display. Because that ultra tough titanium chassis. Because that all day never quit battery life. What's up, people? This your boy, Viper, the man about tech, back again for the video. And yes, you need this Apple Watch Ultra, which I have on my wrist. I have had it since launch day. So let's get into all the reasons why I believe that you should definitely go out and pick yourself up an Apple Watch Ultra. Number one, 49 millimeter display. Oh my goodness. The way that you can consume content on the Apple Watch is a joy. You can actually then I message just different things like that just by using the swipe keyboard because the keyboard has that extra real estate because of the bigger display on top of it having a bigger display. It is very bright. It gets up to 2000 nits of brightness, which means the watch is easily viewable in direct sunlight. So we definitely appreciate the extra brightness of the display and the 49 millimeter display of the Apple watch ultra is flat which means it's easy to wipe and gesture your way around the watch and you don't have to worry about any curves or anything like that because the flat display definitely legit. Two, that titanium chassis, baby. Woo! Some of you all out here put cases on your Apple Watch. What? 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 That's the thing? Are you serious? Bro, I have never put a case on my Apple Watch, but especially with this titanium chassis, I would never, ever put a case on this thing. It is tough, it is durable, it is designed to hold up in the most extreme conditions. So this is a watch that you definitely don't have to worry about putting a case on. You could bang it up against the door, drop it in a volcano, get a bunch of dust on it, maybe not the volcano, get a bunch of dust on it, do what you got to do and the watch will still hold up and work like it's supposed to because it was designed to withstand extreme elements. So shout out to Apple for the durability and the toughness of the Apple Watch Ultra. No cases here, baby. No cases here. There are some folks out there that will have you believe that the Apple Watch Ultra is ugly, but their problem is that they have not found the right band. Yeah, if you use those bands that came with the Apple Watch Ultra, I guess it would be ugly. But if you be like your boy Viper and slap one of these Nomad Titanium watch bands on your Apple Watch Ultra, then you're classing it up and it looks like an absolute executive ball status deal. It looks like you take it on a hot day or if you got a business meeting, you can go out there and rock one of these Nomad bands with your Apple Watch Ultra and be looking like an absolute boss. The Apple Watch Ultra is not ugly. It just depends on the band that you choose to accessorize the Apple Watch Ultra with. So get your band game up, people. Get your band game up. Which brings me to that all-day Energizer Bunny battery life. Woo, 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 this battery life is so good. Apple advertises 36 hours of battery life, and that's before you can enable their new low-power mode, which gets you up to 60 Six zero hours of battery life. Now I know for you Garmin and other watch owners out there, the battery life of this watch probably not a big deal. But for us Apple Watch owners who've been dealing with slightly mediocre to okay battery life on the former Apple Watches, the Apple Watch Ultra revitalizing and renaissance of battery life is much celebrated here. I can definitely attest to the watch getting you 36 hours um, before low power. It is great especially when you use the LTE because all of the Apple Watch Ultras come with LTE, especially if you're using GPS because again, when you use the LTE or GPS or both, you definitely want that increased battery life, especially if you are out there exploring like they advertise things that you can do in a watch and you're out there and you're not really connected to a phone or maybe you left your phone behind. You want this battery life and think about all the things that you can do with the Apple Watch Ultra besides what I've already mentioned, right? You can make it, you can make it take phone calls. You can listen to music, podcast, GPS, workouts, all the things. And speaking of working out with the Apple Watch Ultra, if you look at the side of the watch here, you get this action button here. Where is it? I can, uh, it's kind of hard for you to see it here, but I will put some B-roll of it. You got this orange accented action button that you can customize and program to pretty much any function that you want on the watch. But your boy Viper's out here in the gym, the league of 5 a.m. I am part, I am the leader of the league of 5 a.m., which means I'm in the gym at 5 a.m. So I have the action button program to start my workout. I love doing that. It's just easy to hit one button and I'm off to the races, clanging and banging like I am. The functionality of the Apple Watch and everything that you can do with the Apple Watch 
makes this Apple Watch Ultra the absolute best Apple Watch out there. And again, this is why you need this watch because it does so many things that we've been accustomed to, but it does them for longer and better. The watch comes with 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, which means you can store like whole libraries of songs on here or podcasts for that matter and listen to them. Now, one of the cons that I don't like about the Apple Watch Ultra is that in order to listen to music or podcasts, you got to have a set of headphones, AirPods, AirPod Max, another set of Bluetooth headphones. This watch has dual speakers, but they can't be used for music or podcast consumption. So Apple, can we please in the future unlock the power of the dual speakers of the Apple Watch Ultra so we can listen to music or podcasts? I don't know why. I don't know why that's not a thing. That should be a thing. The other thing that I don't like about the Apple Watch Ultra is that I feel like sometimes the digital crowd sits a little too low. So when I'm trying to turn it, sometimes I'm turning it against my wrist. So my wrist provides a little friction and it doesn't make turning the crown that easy. I have to sometimes bend my wrist down like this to try to get the turn going on here or whatever, or lift the watch up a little bit so we can get that separation between the, my wrist and the digital crown so I can turn it. So I feel like the digital crown should and could sit up a little bit higher to make it easier for me to turn it while I'm using the different function. But other than that, I don't really have too many gripes about the Apple Watch Ultra. It has been an absolute beast. I don't plan on getting another Apple Watch for probably at least two years. Apple has advertised it to a stream athlete, but let me tell you something. Your boy Viper is not an extreme athlete. Any regular everyday Joe or Jan can go out there, get the Apple Watch Ultra and have fun with it. The other thing is that the Apple Watch Ultra is $799, right? I used to buy stainless steel Apple Watches around that same price. So if you are like me in the past and you brought the stainless steel Apple Watch, why on earth would you get an inferior watch this time around where you can pay that same money for the top tier, top of the line, beef mode, battery life all day, Apple Watch Ultra, the Ultra Beast. And if you want to get one of these Apple Watch Ultras, just head down to the description. I'll have a link down there for you to click on so you can experience the power of the Apple Watch Ultra for yourself. And speaking of headphones that you could use with the Apple Watch Ultra, check out the video I did about the AirPod Max here.